The video shows how we can expose a SOAP API in our systems. So here we are looking at my service studio. I have a reactive web application that has a module for customer. Uh, there's one entity called customer with these attributes and there's data that I bootstrapped this already. Now in this situation, uh, maybe there's a need for creating a SOAP API. So for that, uh, I'll switch to logic tab. Uh, this is where I can see the connectors for SOAP, REST and SAP. Now SOAP is the one that we're going to use. Uh, we can consume any SOAP APIs and in this case, we'll be exposing an API. Uh, the scenario is exposing maybe the customer uh, something from the customer table so first of all let's give it a namespace under this namespace we are going to add a web service method uh, get customer by id maybe and uh, then on that method we'll define the input and output parameters so as the name suggests we would need a customer id right a platform helps with the data type in case it doesn't you have to select the one that is relevant in your case and uh, based on the ID, it will return the customer. Okay, so again, data type is correct. Uh, I can go ahead and start providing the logic of this method, which is right here. Now in our systems, we also have AI set development. So if I want to develop this very fast, I can straight away use this and you see that it allows me, it, it basically does what I want to do, right? But let me also show you this in a few steps so you understand the concepts. First of all, we'll retrieve the customers. Now this query, uh, which I was able to build quickly by drag and drop, is basically getting all the customers in here. We're going to double click, get inside the query and modify it to add a filter. This is where we'll say, get us only those customers whose ID is equals to our local, the input parameter customer ID, okay? So with this, we only get one customer. You can test this just if you want to find out. But with that, we can go back to the query and in the next step, we are going to assign the output of this query, the one customer, to this output variable customer. That can be done using an assignment operator and selecting customer on the left hand side and the value of the query above on the right hand side. And that's it. We'll go ahead and publish the application. And then to access the URL or the of this uh, web service, I can just right click on the namespace and open the documentation. Platform shows me this page where I can see the API that I have, SOAP API. And I can even see the details of this, which has in both format 1.1 and 1.2. Thanks for watching.